All right, Scope TV, March 24th, about 8.30 on the East Coast. I got my man Ayaz on the phone. Ayaz, what's happening, man? I'm good, man. How are you? Good. For those that do not know, for those that do know, Ayaz has this huge smash replay. He's also signed to J.R. Rodham's label, Beluga Heights. He's doing big, big things. He's gone platinum already. What, in, with, with replays already gone platinum, right? Yes, he has. Triple platinum. Incredible. So let's get right into this. So what's up for the night, man? Where are we talking from? Pardon? What's up for the night? Where are we talking from? Where you at? I'm in New York right now. Okay. And what are you doing? Uh, interviews, promotion, going to the club? I've been doing a lot of press all day, you know, and I got a few more stuff to go to, and I got a show tonight. Beautiful. Now, uh, what you been doing to prep for the release of uh, the, your debut album, My Life? Uh, the album is actually called Replay. I've just been doing a lot of prom promo, you know. I've been here, there, everywhere. I was in the UK. I was, just came out from Europe a few weeks ago. Um, shot the video for Solo. You know, just just been grinding. Where did I get my life from? It's all over the internet. I don't know who made that name. Oh, is that what it is? Yep. Oh. Okay. Now, so how would you get the stage name Ayaz? That was actually that was actually my godfather's name, I and mean, it means the head kahuna, the one in charge. And I always used to be with him when I was younger, so they call me Mini Ayaz. I'm not Mini anymore, so I just dropped the Mini. Ah. Now, one thing that was really awesome, uh, I was reading your bio and stuff. I love the story of how you were discovered on the MySpace through Sean Kingston. Tell us briefly how that happened and uh, what you did to make your MySpace page stand out. Um, I didn't do anything to make my MySpace page stand out. I didn't even know, I don't even know how Sean Kingston got on my MySpace page, you know, but I was minding my business, I saw the messages from him. I didn't actually believe it was him the first, first few times, so I, I was just ignoring the, uh, the messages and just deleting them. But then he just kept sending messages, so I gave him, finally gave him my number, and then he called me, and then we talk, and then he flies me out to see him the next day. Awesome. Now, you've sold millions of downloads, just like we were just talking about, of uh, Replay and also Solo. Is the music business model changing, do you think, to uh, to more focus on singles as opposed to putting out albums? Um, I think it's all uh, just focused to, di to digital. Mm. Everything's on the internet, whether it's an album or, or a single. Could you see yourself in a couple years just putting out singles, or you'll always have that album package? Album, albums. Yeah, cool. Now let me ask you, what was your life like for you in the Virgin Islands before you got the deal, and were you always into music? I've been doing music from 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 very young, you know. Um, I grew up in church, and my whole family sings. So I've been doing music from the time I, I think I know I was able to speak. And I was actually in Rhode Island and everything like that. I was in college. I've been in college for like three and a half, two and a half years, three years. Wow. Now you are you just said it. You're you're young. What twenty two, right? You're twenty two years old? Yeah. It's incredible. How do you keep yourself focused and away from all the temptations of fame, money, drugs, rock and roll, that whole thing? Um, it's just how I was brought up, you know. I, I just I'm just staying staying old staying in front of my morals and what my mom taught me growing up. Would you say I, that I'm now you are not the guidance counselor, so I, I was never one big on peer pressure. Ah, would you say that now that you're in the position you are, though, you obviously, temptation comes around, or at least, what is it, it's pushed well, it's on you. Temptation is everywhere. Yeah. So what do you do? How do you keep yourself disciplined? I said, it's just how I was, how I was brought up. I just, I'm just thinking, staying in front of to what I know, what I know is right. That's great. Now, you've moved to uh, the Fort, Lauder Fort Lauderdale area now. What are some of the hot spots you like to go out and party on your time off when you're down there? I mainly just go to South Beach and I go to Club Mansion. Ah, okay. And what, what kind of drink does Ayaz get at the bar? Um, Capri Sun, Kool-Aid, stuff like that. Okay. <laughs> I don't drink. Okay, hey, it's all good. It's healthier for you. So, can you do me a favor? Tell the Scope readers briefly about this really exciting new genre of island pop. Island pop, man. Island pop is this new genre of music I'm moving forward with. It's feel-good music, upbeat, makes you want to dance, makes you want to party. 
And no matter what the case may be, because Solo's talking about I lost my girl. But in the, the idol pop genre, yeah, you lost your girl, but there could be worse things. You know, you still have life, you still got your family, you still got this, whatever the case may be. So it's just a new genre of music that we're moving forward. It's, it's, it's rap, reggae, calypso, R&B, crop, everything in one. Mm. Now, J.R. Rodham has been on a signing spree of young talent. Is there a friendly competition amongst you all, or do you all pretty much work together? Um, I don't, I don't think we work together. <laughs> Not to my knowledge. Um, I'm in competition with anybody that's doing music. You know, you gotta fight to be, you gotta fight to be the best. What you do? Hmm, that's pretty cool. Now, are you gonna be doing a track with uh, Sean Kingston for the album? Nah, I have no features on my album. I want no it to be features. all about me. Wow. So that's that's why you did it. You wanted it all on you, huh? Yeah, I wanted it to be about me. Basically about me, you know. People, people. some of the times, most of the times, people just get features to like try to boost the album sales, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm all about the music. I'm not really about the, the performery. So I'm just trying to put out, let the world know, tell my story, and nobody can tell my story better than me. Wow, that's awesome. Now, what advice can you give to artists trying to break out in the music business and just, you know, in life in general? You're such a positive influence for the kids. Oh, man. Use the internet. Put this stuff up on the MySpace, the Twitter, the Facebook. Never stop believing in, in, in your craft, you know? You definitely, definitely, I'm, I say a million times, use the internet to market yourself because, like you see, Sean Kingston found me on MySpace. Yeah, I found Sean Kingston on MySpace. Soulja Boy was found on YouTube. Justin Bieber found on YouTube, you know? So definitely, the internet is the best place to market yourself. That's it. Now listen, we got the last question. Let's go out with a bang, because this, this has been a lot of fun right now. So what's coming up for you? And lay it on my people. Where can we get you online? Uh, Twitter, MySpace, your website. Lay it on it before we go. Uh, man. Hit me on the Twitter, twitter.com backslash I add live. You can't search for me, so you got to punch my name in the, in the URL. Twitter.com backslash IASLive. Um, Facebook is IAS Smith. Um, my MySpace is just IAS. And I got a website because everybody wants everybody wants this I ask book or replace shirt that I wore in the video. You can get that on the web on the website. I add music. That's sweet. Um, what we have coming up, man? We got tons of stuff coming up. We trying to get some tours settling, you know, because I got a lot of I have a lot of show dates on my own. So we just trying to work around them. Um, I have a song with David Foster, artist named Sharice. The song is named Pyramid. That song is doing great. That's also on iTunes right now, along with Solo, my second single. Um, what else we got, man? What else we have coming up? What else we have? I have a song with Miley Cyrus that's coming out, like, in September or August. Um, just a ton of stuff coming up, ton of stuff. Some stuff I can't really talk about until, we, until like, a week before it, it's going to happen. I like that. Oh, and look at this. I'm watching the TV, and look whose video comes on MTV Hits. Replay. <laughs> As we're talking. That's funny. This is incredible. This is incredible. Ayaz, we can't thank you enough. It's been awesome. Scope TV, keep it real, people. We'll be back with you soon. Ayaz, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank All you. All right, man.